Gail King. One of Kirby's favorite son, Will, Oprah called because they thought, you know, we were very, very worried because I guess when you look at that. She is an American television personality, journalist, and author. Politics dominates. I watch everybody just to see what people are saying, and I still listen to his music. Now, as of right now, I stand this time because. She has gone her whole, her whole career staying out of politics. It's like what Michael Jordan said once, that he never took a political stand because he said, look, Republicans... Yeah, well, there's breaking news, I gotta stay. There's that kind of guy. Then there's somebody else that said, is there anything... She goes, have you heard? I go, what? Nicole... Isn't the cover photo stunning? <laughs> I think so too. You know, the beauty of that cover photo is I didn't even. Gail King, <laughs> Gail King, yeah. Um, Lisa P. Facebooked. Gail, what did Oprah. I'll turn that into Tyler Perry Studios, which is bigger than Warner Brothers. She was born in Maryland, United States on December 28, 1954. Please welcome back to The Late Show, our friend, Gail King. Her father's name is Scott King and Peggy King. Her father was an electrical engineer, and her mother was a homemaker. Hey everybody, we're back here. We're back here with our friend Gail King. Um, uh... As a result of her father's work, King spent several years of her childhood in Turkey, where she attended an American school. The family later returned to Maryland. Yes. Friends, yes. multiple. He's yes. got two of them. Yes. Uh, Joel, jo jo Joyce Ellen. Joyce Ellen. Joyce Ellen. Joyce Ellen. Who and, is 23. And Azriel. Azriel. She graduated from the University of Maryland in 1976 with a double degree in psychology and sociology. Yeah, I've never wanted to be Oprah. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to be me? <laughs> I never wanted to be you. But the other thing is, whenever I like. When I King has been best friends with Oprah Winfrey since 1976. She is also a friend of Howard Stern, despite Stern and Winfrey's criticisms of each other. I don't want anybody to think now they're dressing alike. Not true. You know, not only are we dressed alike, we have the same watch yeah. on. Hello, hello, hello. 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 We're wearing Talbots. Yeah. Questions about life, about love and friendship from some of our readers. Oprah described her as, she's the mother I never had, she is the sister everybody would want, she is the friend everybody deserves, I don't know a better person. I remember when my mom turned 50, I went, wow, that is so old. And now, you know, I King's career started as a production assistant at WJZ-TV in Baltimore, where she met Oprah Winfrey, an anchor for the station at the time. What does it matter in life? I think it's great that you have women who are over the age of 60, over the age of 70 that are doing great things. I also King later trained as a reporter at WTOP-TV in Washington, D.C. After working at WJZ, she moved to Kansas City, Missouri, where she was a weekend anchor and general assignment reporter at WDAF-TV. All right, right now, let's turn to R. Kelly. The troubled singer was taken into custody this afternoon after a hearing over unpaid child support. This coming... In 1981, she was hired as a news anchor for WFSB in Hartford, Connecticut, where she worked for 18 years and became an Emmy Award-winning news anchor. Part of that time, she lived in Glastonbury, Connecticut. How she remained calm in the eye of the storm. I thought a couple of times that maybe we're witnessing a breakdown. King worked as a special correspondent for The Oprah Winfrey Show. In 1991, King briefly co-hosted an NBC daytime talk show with Robin Wagner called Cover to Cover, which was canceled after 13 weeks. Nice to see you, 
begin. Nice to see you, Stephen Colbert. In 1997, she was offered her own syndicated talk show, The Gail King Show, which was cancelled after one season due to low ratings. Yeah, the real bombs just didn't go off. Yeah. Well, that, that begs the question. Is the person behind this just incompetent, or are they just trying to scare us? If they're just trying to scare us, mission accomplished. I'm not kidding, I just said to the driver... In September 2006, King began to host the Gail King Show on XM Satellite Radio. Would you like me to share with you how much I got last night? Four hours and 35 minutes. And we do so on January 3, 2011, King began hosting a new show, also called The Gail King Show, on own.The Gail King Show ended on November 17, 2011, as a result of King's going to CBS to co-anchor CBS this morning. ...as a typical day. I honestly don't even know what that means. My alarm goes off every day at 322, exactly, because I have it programmed that... King was rumored to be considered as a replacement for both Star Jones and Rosie O'Donnell as a host on The View, but neither of these came to fruition. Oh, thanks, Natalie. I love how Oprah, you know, gave the little introduction to you and the way she talked about you being so vibrant, full of joy, the best... King was also rumored to have been a potential replacement if co-host Elizabeth Hasselbeck had left The View in June 2013. They said, you know, we want to honor you. I didn't even ask Oprah if she would make the introduction because I know she's busy. I know she has 50 million things to do. As you know, Scott, you've been to her. Oh, <laughs> I've seen you over there. King joined O, the Oprah magazine, as an editor in 1999. This is my favorite daughter, and this is my favorite son, Kirby and Will. They, they both live in L.A., so they took the red eye in today to get here. Before joining CBS News, King worked as a special correspondent for Good Morning America. Yes way, he just made it yesterday. I was literally, he was literally pinning it on me yesterday. Thanks. Well, I did because I never dreamed that this could happen to me. I was so happy just... On November 10th, 2011, King secured a deal with CBS to co-anchor CBS this morning, beginning on January 9, 2012. Oh, hey, Andy. Hi, Gail. Hi, Kathy. Um, what has been your least favorite thing on one of Oprah's favorite... She has been described as one of the top anchors at CBS. She publicly announced on air for CBS to have full transparency when it was learned CBS planned on keeping the findings into sexual abuse and harassment at CBS private. How much sleep, how much steps, right. how is it? Right. Um, so I'd never had an Apple Watch before, so that's probably... In December 2018, it was rumored that King was furious with the controversies and the way things were being handled at CBS and that she might be ready to leave the network. Please welcome Gail King. She was described as having to hold everything together at CBS this morning. I'm so glad this to finally so have you on the show. This, this is, is great for us. This is my first time on the Trevor yeah, Noah this show. Is great. And I'm psyched. This is great to have you. She received recognition for remaining stoic while R. Kelly got up out of his chair and began to scream and beat his chest in an interview discussing the sexual abuse allegations made against the singer. In 2018, King was inducted into the Broadcasting and Cable Hall of Fame. She was also chosen as one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People of 2019. King was married to Bill Bumpus, an attorney and an assistant attorney general in Connecticut, from 1982 to 1993. She has a son and a daughter. <laughs> 